Hey guys, today I get the chance to show you what it's like to not only play against the number one player on the leaderboards, but play in a full pro lobby that's super sweaty, while still trying to commentate my thoughts. Yeah, so basically I'm trying to do the impossible today, but it's for your entertainment, so I hope it's worth it. I took a bit of a break from Rocket League to clear my head, as I told you guys, but upon my return, I called up the god of 2v2, Taroko, who plays for the pro team Rogue. And funny enough, the player that we ran into twice in this video, who's rank 1, is his teammate First Killer. So stick around, because these games are super intense, and I apologize if I'm not playing super well, as these were my first games back after 4 days. But hey, it should be fun regardless. If you're enjoying the daily videos and unique content, subscribing would help out a ton, and it would mean the world if we reached 1 million subscribers before my birthday on March 31st. It doesn't look like we're gonna reach that goal, but one can always dream. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, let's get into it. All right, the first game we got RL, Mo, and Dries. Mo's really, really solid, and Dries is obviously a really solid 2v2 player as well. We're gonna be playing pretty, pretty high level games here. So we'll see if we can get a win on all three, all, all three or four games here. We can play round one. Is that a little bit too hard? Should have pop it out middle. It's a good fake from Troco to let that ball back to me himself. I'll go behind him here. There we go. It's probably gonna bump from Dries, but it's hard to say uh, if there's space for. Oh. 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 <laughs> I was gonna say hard to say if there was space for him there, but uh, it worked out. Wait for the touch from Dries. Off the round, Mo's gonna go right away. Actually, oh, he bumped me. That's a really good play. I, it was definitely open for me there, so it was good of him to bump me. Let's go. Let's see if we get a fit block here close. Nice finish. Nice one. A little bit confusing there at the start, but you can obviously tell we're gonna be running into solid players all all night here on this uh, this video. And uh, so far, we've been you know holding good pressure, but I expect a you know a solid comeback attempt. Trees with the uh, early touch. I see that he's going up right away. This could be bad. Oh, that's bad. That's bad by me. I, I should have played that a little more aggressively. I didn't assume that Breed would go right up right up once again. Uh, it was a good play for him to hit off the backboard. I thought I had some time. Obviously not. Troker should be able to stay on this now. It's a free 1v1. Good 50-50. Let's even go again. Nice shot. Really well played. That demo off the flick gave him some space off the corner. And that bounce in mid just gave him a perfect opportunity. You know, you can't really expect uh, nothing less from the the two's got himself. He's so good, so solid. Good 50 there. Pop it across. Give me a shot as well. Oh, oh, nice, <laughs> nice shot. Well played. You know, still looking like I'm being carried, but at least I have two assists, so we're we're, we're doing a lot more. I'm always like definitely aiming to be a more of an like an assist or support player. So I want to make sure I save a bit of my boost. I'd be a little bit careful with the shot. He missed it. Should give us enough time. Right here, I'm gonna feed out. Middle to get a few pads. It's gonna be a free clear from Mo. I know Mo's gonna have the ball first, so I wanna go up after the touch. You can easily get baited to go in for one of those touches after he makes a pop to the ceiling, but I know that he has possession first because he's placed it in a spot where there's uh, not much room for me to go unless I rush it completely, and it's very risky if I do that. Wait for the fake. There it is. Nice pinch. Let's Mo's ball. I gotta be wait, careful of demos behind me here. A nice shot again. Yeah, you're a god. <laughs> what a play. Great play there. Great angle. Um, obviously, the game's over. Uh, but, you know, we'll take it. That was a really, really solid first game. You can see just what impact he has on the field uh, in these twos games. He has really, really good pressure. Really good uh, awareness of when to uh, challenge, when to, you know, fake and wait for his teammate. And honestly, whenever I play with Troco, it's super, super easy to rotate around him and and make good decisions together. So let's move on to the next game and see how it goes. Ooh, okay. This is a tough one. We got first killer in Chicago. First killer is 2366. This is gonna be a hard one. A good beat there off Chicago. He's probably gonna take my corner boost, so be a little bit careful. Avoid bumps as well. It's a good shot opportunity. I'm gonna get my boost stolen here. There's no way I can get it first, so I just gonna be a little bit careful. I'm gonna fake here. It's gonna pop around. Troco should have a free ball now. Grab a few pads here as I go back. Good play. Should have beat him. It's gonna be bad though. Pop it around for Turo because that way he can follow it. Good of him to leave that boost because he knows I'm low. Good pop as well. Try to pop that off. I, I, I have bad timing though. It's gonna be tough here for a little bit. 
So we have block. Hopefully Troco can get this backwards. It's a good play. Pop it around first killer. I'm actually going to bail on the ball here and get the boost. And let uh, Troco take it over. Kind of missed it a little bit, but it works out. Oof. Okay, at least I touched it. Try to go fast in case first killer, first killer went early, but he was being patient there. Why well, did run my flip? Okay, good block though. It was a little bit rough. I thought I thought maybe uh, I would still have my flip after that touch, but I missed the boost. This could be bad. Good save. It's gonna be a goal though. Yeah, that's my bad. Should have grabbed that boost. Could have made a good challenge, but missed that corner, and that's gonna punish me for sure. Yeah, I knew Chicago would do that, so I went for the fake instead. Good fakes, I guess. Gonna bump him. Troco's still waiting though. Bit awkward. Good play though in the corner. Oh, he's got it again. Oh, that's my bad. I tried to go on the backboard to get that touch and he just popped it around me. I should just went for the ball immediately though. He wasn't really threatening the, the shot. Um, definitely could have waited. It's made it clear. I feel like I make a good play here. Pop around first killer. Even though he made a touch, it's going to be awkward for them for a little bit. Bump first killer. And there we go. Nice one. So in that situation, because I made a clear off of the uh, the touch here and, and popped it around Chicago, I knew immediately if I bumped first killer, Chicago will be under the ball, and that's when Troco can make, can make a challenge. So good pressure there. We still have a minute and a half. Hopefully we can get another goal. At least equal, equal it up. Nice. Could be a good chance here. Should be Troco's ball. Good try. Fake. Oh, could be open. Nice. Okay. So I thought first killer was making a touch. That's why I waited there patiently. And uh, ended up working out because Chicago kind of popped the ball off the backboard in a position that wasn't really that great. And uh, it ends up working out with a little fake, little touch to the side. What I want to do is go immediately up here so it goes high. And that way it stalls out enough time for me to get this back corner boost. Oh, good try. Good challenge. Could be a goal here, actually. To be a clear, take first killer's boost as well. Pop it around. To be a clear off the sidewall, and if Chicago makes a challenge here, it could be good for us since it's going to spill into the corner. Pop it off the corner, that way the curve pops it out middle. Hopefully, this boost spawns in a second. Good save. I fake it, that way Chicago backs off. Pop off the corner. It's going to be bad though because it's going to feed it the ball forward. Pop it to the corner. I want to make sure I get this boost as soon as possible. Pop it over one. Chicago's going to make a touch. Hopefully I can grab this boost before him. I actually didn't grab it, so this could be really bad. As long as he makes a touch here, we should be okay. There we go. So I was rushing back to the net just in case he beat me. Probably won't hit the curve. I doubt Chicago's going to keep that up. And here we go. Overtime. So pretty good. Even if we lost this game, I think it would be a pretty solid game. Good try on the demo play. And I'm dead too. This is probably going to be a goal. But good of Taroko to land in the net. There we go. Woo! Okay, that was good that I pinched that way too because first killer was on the opposite side. It's not going to be a good play for me here. I got to go back all the way for boost. Oh, well, avoid the demos there as well. Good play. Play off the corner. Should be a Troco's ball, hopefully. Good fake. Works out still, though. There we go. Probably gonna turn this immediately. He's gonna pop it forward at least so he has to clear it high. I should give him enough time to get a, a couple pads. Good bump. Oh, good try on that pop. That would have been gold, too. Good challenge. Boost should spawn. Pop it up nice and high. Good backflip. Should give us some space. Good try. Troco should be able to go for this. Off backboard. Great possession. Up and off. So that way Troco can get back. Oh, he didn't have enough time. That's, that's my bad though. I definitely should have just waited for the extra pop. Good try though. Good pressure. And honestly, a pretty solid game even though we lost the game. I think that was really good. Uh, definitely had the chance to win, I think, a couple times. But they did as well. And... 
obviously it's a really solid game and we don't really lose many points we lost the points we gained in the first game just because you know first killer is at like 23 something i don't really play many twos but that is uh that is very very high all right we got zanil and roxers two solid players once again i mean honestly at this rank obviously we're gonna run into solid players no matter who it is so let's see how we do bit of an awkward kickoff though to be a good play for Taroko. Try to force in that touch off the off that corner. Good try. I'm gonna fake him that way it clears it to me. Oh close. They both jumped. Should be open. Nice. I was focusing for a little bit there. I'm um, just trying to get a good touch off that off that flip reset. So I just stayed silent and just tried to make a touch. So I end up boosting underneath it to get the flip reset. Pops off the backboard. And that's where uh, Troco can finish off pretty cleanly. It's pretty easy. There's all that space on the left side. Once I get that flip reset, should be able to get a 50-50 here. Maybe he's gonna back off. Sorry. Wait for high behind here. Trying to stall off time and bump him at least. That way Troco has some space. Troco didn't grab that back corner boost. He wanted to stay more relevant on the play, which is totally fair. Here we go. Let's see if I can get a play. Woo! Get 50-50 from uh, his teammate to bail him out. All right, just gonna wait for Roxers here. I know he's gonna go for the flip reset uh, into the wave dash. Works out. Good play from um, Troco to follow that up as well. It's a good clear, but it's he's last man. So if I shot that a little lower, it would have been a free goal. But it's a good try from Troco to finish that. Pop it off the sidewall. I can get back. Pop it off the wall. He'll probably have another touch as well. Should be a follow up from Troco. So I'm not too worried here. I know he's gonna catch it and flick it around. Good flick towards the net too, but it's off target. So Troco's gonna go for the steal on the boost. Pop this over to the left because uh, Troco's still landing. I think my boost stolen as well, but it's a goal. So there we go. <laughs> I was gonna say it's uh, we should be able to make good pressure here um, off this touch. It pops it around uh, Zanil and then a quick read uh, off that touch there. Right, so I'm gonna make a fake him to go that way. He goes higher. This should be Troco's ball for free. Good 50-50 though from Roxers to pressure that. Or he, they need two goals, so. Makes complete sense. Right here, I don't see any threat of it really being on target that that often. So I just waited for that. Try to buff him off. This is a good play from Zanil though to stay with it. Just gonna force him to make a touch. Just gonna pop off the corner. Oh, that almost didn't work out. Good play. Just gonna be a flick here. He's probably gonna flick it right away or get a 50-50. Good play. I couldn't get right on it at the time that he wanted me to, which makes sense. Wait for the touch forward. Oh, that's a good play. Yeah, I thought he was going to delay it. But uh, it should be all right. Go for the low 50-50. Almost worked. Uh, there's a little bit of an angle where I could have probably flicked it, but the first touch wasn't that great, so I went for the lower touch instead. Oh, that was close. Good save. Should be a, cl a close towards net. Good save, though. I'm going to back off to the left since I see Troco following it that way. Get a 50 50 should lead to a uh, play from the Rockstars here, but there we go. Stay with us now. Get a nice flick, and that should give me enough pressure to get the corner boost. Go for a 50 50 and pop it around, and that way Troco can follow it off the wall here. Rockstars clearing it. I'm a little bit careful with him going immediately, which is why I'm going to get a late 50 50 and try to go for the boost. This will keep pressure here, and I know, I know Rockstars is pretty low, so I'm just waiting for him to just keep throwing himself in and hopefully get him out of the play. I know Roxers are still pretty low, so I know he's not going to go on this. And I know that I could get challenged from the side, which is why I'm going to wait for the late 50-50. I see that uh, Zanil might challenge right away. And I'm still pretty, like, last man here. But with Troco landing on the back corner, he should be able to get back to it before. And now we can just wait for Roxers to make another touch, maybe. And there we go. Solid game there. Let's try one more game and see where we end up. We got we got plus six points, so we're back up to, uh, you know, plus six out of the whole, <laughs> out of the whole video. But this is how... The high ranked, uh, you know, leaderboard kind of works is you have to win every game or else you're just going to go back to where you started. Um, and it doesn't take long either. And for the last game, we got first killer in Chicago again. So we're going to see if we can uh, catch a dub this time around. I I really hope we do, but uh, it's obviously very, very difficult. These two are very, very good at pressure together and uh, should uh, should be able to keep this close here. Get 50 50 off the corner. Good play is Troco's last. I mean, uh, first killer's last. Good play off the touch. Gonna let them pressure uh, or you know make touches off their their defensive pressure here. This is gonna wait. Smart of them. So we have play across the corner here, off off the sidewall. It's a good bump though. It's gonna be a one v one opportunity. 
if he can go for the uh, the play off the corner. He does. Woo! <laughs> okay, what a pinch. I have lots of time, but I'm a little careful because I knew first killer might go again. But I'm just going to go for the late 50-50 and hopefully Troco can keep the pressure in the corner. This constantly pressure. They just don't worry about what's happening. They just know they're going to rotate fast. Like right here, he's going to touch to the back corner. Troco is pretty low. i got to wait for the demos, possibly. There we go. Just let, let him clear it. Just trying to position in a spot where, you know, we're going to be in a situation where we can cover each other. Good play. Good save, though. We shot towards target. It's unfortunate that he wasn't there, obviously, because he's still recovering. I'm pretty far away from the play right now, so I hope this uh, Troco doesn't commit. And that's why. Yeah, it's just rough. There's not much I can really do there. Because Troco commits while I'm in the far corner, there's just so much space for them to use. There's really no way they don't score there. Good bump. See, play around is fine. See about right. Oh. There we go. The bumps, man. They just constantly bump. It's so annoying. Both well, just low boost. It's going to be a goal, too. Yeah. I didn't expect Troco to just challenge like that. We were super low boost and for him to just jump out like that. I'm just not able to get boost, so... Two really weird mistakes in this game. I think we could have, uh, you know, been a little more patient. It's hard when the people are pressuring like this to just play patiently, but it's actually the best thing to do because they're just, you know, playing for uh, pressure. And if you play forward, to be open. Ugh! No! It's tight. All right, Shurgo should have that in the corner. I'm gonna bump first killer here if I can. Good try. Gotta go for something unique because they're just gonna make constant pressure, like I said. Hopefully Troco can stay on that. Good play. Round one. Good pop off the wall. Try to bump him if I can. I'm going to back off after that touch. Should be open for Troco. Good try. Ah, oh, that's a good play. Not really able to get any pressure in this game. Obviously, the two goals that we like let go were just like early challenges that really shouldn't have happened. But otherwise, it's been fine. So two early challenges is going to be rough. But as you can see... There's a reason why he's like rank one right now. It's because of the constant pressure. Oh, and there we go. We got a goal at the end. <laughs> we'll take it. Honestly, we could have won that game if we just didn't too make too early, too early challenges. Uh, on I, I obviously could have played the uh, the last man challenges a lot better, but it's so hard because they have so many options. But otherwise, it was good. I think uh, with that a little few different plays, we could have taken the wins in both of those games against him in Chicago, but. You know, playing as a rank one player, it's going to be a constant sweat fest. And, uh, you know, for not playing the game too often, pretty proud of that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was a lot of fun. We ended up basically being even. We went plus one after the whole thing. It was a lot of fun to play with Shiroko as always. Uh, definitely check him out on Twitter. Uh, and uh, we'll catch you guys in the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.